Hi, I'm Stephen Cronin and today I thought I'd have a go at a Cairn Gorms mountain scene in Scotland. It's a simple little mountain scene. I've tried to sort of lighten the base of the mountains there to create a sort of misty valley just in the distance. Our path sort of sweeps. We had a focal point near the two, two uh, young couples walking off into the distance, admiring the view. A few rocks here scraped out in the foreground using the corner of a plastic card. Before I show you how I painted it, let's just have a quick look at the materials. Here I've got my colours, we've got ultramarine, cadmium yellow, Payne's grey, glycerin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. Just use the two brushes, here we've got our large Ron Ranson Ake, number three rigger and it's 15 by 11 watercolour paper. So I'm going to start this one off with just clear water, lubricating the paper all over just to soften it all up and stop all those hard edges in the sky. Then I'm going to go a bit of, bit of light red, a bit of cadmium yellow, a bit more red, a bit more yellow, start off with it. Nice bright colour to start up. Bit more red, bit more yellow, maybe a touch of raw sienna in there as well. And I'm going to bring that all the way down to the bottom of the paper. Right now I want a bit of dark in the sky now, just to sort of make the lighter areas look even lighter by darkening the surrounding areas. So I've gone, just dip the corner of the, into the water just to loosen all the paint up. And I've gone into ultramarine blue. Have some of that across the top. Nice and dark look. Whack some of it down there like that. And at this point now I'm starting to think about these mountains. So it's first just getting a little bit darker, a bit more red, a bit more blue. Maybe a few little clouds and things up here. I think that's all I'm going to do with that for I totally could completely over the top. Now I want a good thick mix now, red and blue. A bit of the other colours as well, so bowling, but you want it pretty dark because this mountain is now going to silhouette against the light of the sky. So a bit more red, a bit more blue, nice and dark, and then we have a mountain somewhere like that. And that's going to go down there like that and then sweep around there, something like so. What I'm going to do is a few mountains in the background just behind it, so I'm putting those in nice and light. All I did, I just wiped, I just wiped it on the corner of the water jar. I didn't dip it in the water, just took off whatever paint I could so I could put these really light tones on in the distance. Yeah, a bit will be darker. Uh, actually, let's just no, let's, let's just try and get this a little bit lighter and try and create some sort of mist in this valley. And then what I'll do, put this on darker in front of it, and it'll look like there's mist between the two mountain valleys. Right, so first paper stretch a little bit, so I'm just going to clip it on this piece of plywood that I attach the paper to. Now I want a good strong mix now, so I've just dipped the corner of the brush in the water just to loosen everything up. I'm getting a bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of that crimson, a bit of raw sienna, a bit more blue. I want this nice and dark. Then this, this mountain. In fact, what I did for this was dry it.
So it all softened off there because the paper was still wet. You know it's dry, so I'll get a sharp, sharper edge. That's going down there like that. And again, I'm just taking off what I can off the corner of the water jar, and I'm just going to pop in some lighter ones down there. Then I want to go back to dark again. And then what I want is a bit of green, a bit of grass growing right on the side of this mountain. So, a bit of cadmium yellow. So let's just try it first with just, just the yellow and see what it looks like. Push it up there. It's a bit too straight, I'm just trying to make it a little bit more uneven. A little bit of ultramarine in there. Clean the brush. I want to get back to a lighter colour. I'm just doing cad, yellow, a bit of raw sienna, a bit more raw sienna in there just to change, to vary it a little bit. And I'm, cool, I'm, I'm weird, I've got this lit area. I want to try and keep that lit area there if I can. So, what I'm going to do around there is let's go with a bit of purple. I'm going Lizarine Crimson. Lizarine Crimson, a bit of blue, nice purpley colour. This is coming in there. I'm thinking this I'm going to need a path at some stage. I'm wondering where to incorporate this bit area into the path. Muddy, so I'm just cleaning the brush again. Let's go over on this side a little bit. Not really easy. Over there. Bit of ultramarine to the alizarin crimson, nice purple colour. Almost like um bits of flowers and things growing. Just dotting, little dots even there. That'd work out if the paper was dry actually, but that'll do for now. Maybe do them afterwards. It's a bit more blue, a bit of red, a bit of blue. What I want to put in are some rocks. First, let's just lighten that up a bit. Just wet that a bit. I'm trying to sort of blend it in a bit more. A little bit too wet now. So let's just put these rocks in. So I might go, again I'm looking for dark, dark colours now. So there's a little bit of burnt umber popping into the mix. Bit of red, bit of brown, bit of blue. And down here I'm going for some rocks which I'll scrape in with the card. Put a few, little, few up there, don't want to get too balmy. A few more over there, sort of silhouetted against this light. Let's take a piece of corner of a piece of card, it's just a normal plastic card. And I'm just going to sc scrape these rocks in. Something like that. I imagine the light sort of coming down here, so we're just. So 
they're sort of catching the one side and the other side's in shadow. And then any part you don't like you can just paint straight over. Now I'm gonna, let's put this path in. I've sort of got a this little bit this area there but I'm not sure yet what to do with it. I'm just gonna go a bit of red, a bit of blue. I don't think the path's going to sort of start out right over there. Let's just lighten some of that. Lighten that up a little bit. And the rest, push a little bit of cadmium yellow up to it. A little bit of grass, grass growing even there, and down there, and grass down there, loads of grass around here. This is just straight cadmium yellow, going straight on to the paper. Let's just make sure that's flat. Again, it's just fully tight. You can. Stretch your paper before you start painting if you want. It's entirely up to you. I just like to do it as I go along. Um, do I need to get back a little bit more of that lit area? I've cleaned the brush. Took the excess out on the tea towel. Let's maybe just take a little bit more out. Mm, not quite sure if that's the same effect, but that's a worry. Bit of cad, bit of ultramarine, and you've just got a few little dibs and dabs around. Maybe a little bit of Payne's grey, it's really dark in that red green up. Cadmium yellow, Payne's grey, really dark green, and this is really going to silhouette against this light that's coming down there. See, it's sort of silhouetting there now, little bits of grass, dibs and dabs here and there. A bit more down there, a bit more over there. We definitely need a, a figure. So I think I'll finish with the hay brush now. So I'll pop that in the in the water. Let's take a bit of red, a bit of blue. And I'm gonna have a little figure. Where should we put them? trying to do it without getting my hand because this is still wet this is but it's, I'm just coming to the side of it. Let's have a little part now with him. There's the bloke so next to him I'm going to put the woman slightly shorter but side by side. And they're sort of walking off now. Just down, look down that valley. Uh, let's have a little bird over here. Just about to see him. And I think I'm going to call that one finished. So all I'm going to do next is just pop my name in the corner. Uh, I'm just going to pop it just down there and then I'm going to get rid of that bee that's just flown in and then I'm going to put the mount on. Right, let's see what it looks like with the mount on. So here we have our painting all uh, mounted up so let's go in and have a closer look at it. As always I started up in the sky area here we've got various mixes of light red and um, cadmium yellow to create this sort of orange colour with a bit of raw sienna thrown in. The darker areas you see are where I put a bit of ultramarine to the mix just to darken it up and they've been repeated all the way down throughout the painting. 
Next it was time to put these mountains in. So I've combined all the sky colours again to put in these this sort of middle distant mountain, the really far ones put in, using the lightest tone I possibly could. Just enough so you could see them there you know, far away. Then I sort of lightened the bottom of this one just so that this mountain before that showed up. Also dried it because you see how you get the sharp edge to really contrast against the one behind it. And it was time to add the grass, so a bit of cadmium yellow, a bit of ultramarine here and there just to try and vary it slightly as the grass just sweeps right up the uh, mountain side. A bit more alizarin crimson to the mix here to create these sort of almost sort of purpley colours scattered about. Then a bit, bit sort of brown, blue, dark colour mix just to create these rocks and then just scrape them out with a card. So you can imagine all the sort of lights catching this side and sort of the other sides in shadow. Same these ones, just imagine the lights coming down there, catching the tops of these rocks and then the backs of them in shadow. Always nice. I always try and put a path in where I can in, one, in these scenes. This one sort of sweeps round off, heading down towards this valley over yonder where we can find our, our couple admiring the view. That's all for this painting. I hope you like that. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask. And I'll see you again soon.